You know, I think is one of the unique points of our chain is that we are a DAO. In many ways, that's kind of playing on hard mode, but I think it's going to be really worth it in the long term if we can build that sort of self-organizing community. The idea was one of the actual core one members, that is block creators, and uh, he had this idea and I uh, started basically making people together in a, a telegram chat and then we did a list of the things that were needed and uh, everyone was contributing with one piece. The focus of Juno is to have smart contracts that are interoperable with each other and also with other blockchains inside the Cosmos ecosystem or the interchain. In many ways with Juno we were forced to create good DAO tooling because that was the only way that we could actually effectively self-organize. Juno was definitely one of the first ones to take advantage of uh, IBC uh, with smart contracts. And I think that we've like learned a lot of things and actually pioneered some concepts that are starting to get talked about all over. Like everyone's talking about sub DAOs now. We're working on like a whole new Juno constitution. We have a core working group of a lot of diverse group of projects, economics minded people, business minded people like communications-minded people, obviously some developers as well. So on Juno, we have a particular structure that it's made by sub-DAOs. So the Juno network is managed in different small groups of people that are very specific to different topics. So if you want to contribute to, to Juno, just try to understand what are your skills and maybe if you can fit and if you can help any of these sub-DAOs. Maybe you're a validator and you just want to vote on software upgrades. But maybe you also care about communication stuff, so you kind of want to weigh in there. Or maybe you care about project funding and you want to participate in project funds and not just participate by voting on how community funds are used, but maybe you want to contribute your own funds to projects. Like the definition of community investing should be much broader than it is. Part of it is like developer culture and like creating that culture of developers that are creating the next generation of protocols. You launch on Juno. You take advantage of cutting edge features. You take advantage of a really cool network of developers and a rich community and maybe some funding opportunities that are on chain. I've been talking with a lot of private investors because we want to create this culture of like build your project on Juno, launch here and then take it everywhere in the interchain. And there is also more, I would say, anarchic way to do things that if you just have an idea, if you want to shape Juno in, in a different way, if you want to change tokenomics, you can just write down a governance proposal draft. We're incubating really valuable protocols that like are beneficial to the entire interchain. And we have a strong community of developers and we're also OG, right? I could literally just get kicked out of all the things I'm in, mm -hmm. you know, that's great. That kind of accountability just doesn't happen like really on any other chain. And that's what I think real decentralization is. There is no foundation, there is no central entity that can say, no, this proposal is bad. There are some people that are uh, influencing on Twitter about it. Of course, it's totally normal, but there is no central entity that have the actual voting power to just broadcast a vote and, uh, you know, veto any proposal. And that's not possible on Juno. And yes, there are challenges. There have been a lot of challenges along the way, but it's important to still like not lose the big picture, to not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like there's still some awesome things about Juno that make it really unique as this like community kind of run chain.